Hello cadets, this is lead game designer Matt Fletcher and we are again in the Stellar Academy but I don't want to just show you this, I want to show you the rest of what we've been working on throughout the home world. So this is sort of like a half live video, pre-recorded stuff but me just talking over the footage and right now you can see us going through uh, what you've already seen throughout the pre-alpha gameplay uh, sort of over the past year and you can see that things are still looking fairly similar until you look out the window and now it is real in the distance you can see uh, the mining uh, operations and uh, some city stuff right now we're in the small communal area uh, and yeah, in the distance you can see some developments there. And now, a place that everyone's always wanted to go, down through the elevator, here we go. Which, this is uh, still in progress on the actual elevator system that we want to have involved. And here we go, the main base lobby. This is where everyone would travel through. This is a, a, a center point that connects to many places. And here we have a little armory where you can select the different weapons, take it up to the uh, gun range, which is up on the second floor, and try them out. And let's go there now. So in the shooting range, we want to have a, a few things happen in here. Uh, right now, this is uh, still a placeholder for what it will be. This is just a visual representation of the type of lived-in environment that we want to have throughout the base. I also wanted to have a zone where you could do combat training, sort of what would it be like in a military future sci-fi base. And here we are, the Grand Hall. Here you can see some of the history, the game lore through the holograms of uh, the Ark to the ship that brought us all here to this planet, to this uh, Trappist system, along with the buggy that you play in and the, the starfighter that we all know, which is the iconic, which has now become the Mark I, as we have a, a Mark II coming very soon. And now we will go up to the second floor again to go to the operations center. And now let's go down, skip a floor, all the way down to the subterranean hangar. This is where all the big ships, small ships, any type of spacecraft will be not only built, but stored among all the other heavy duty uh, equipment and weaponry uh, that we have in the game under here. Away from any potential space attacks
and you can see from the size that we have a lot of room to grow and still a lot of things to do to fill out the space but sometimes you have to start big and then work it out later The Trench City. We've always wanted to have a city like this, sort of hiding away from elements, uh, being protected inside the canyon itself. And this is still just a visual representation, but in the future we want it to be fully explorable, of course. And currently we are on a terminator line of the home world, uh, a nice middle spot of not too hot and not too cold as the planet actually has one face locked to the sun meaning that one face is always facing the sun and the other side is never facing it and I wanted to showcase uh, the ultra dynamic sky uh, here now So that's a fairly quick look at the progress of the homeworld home base. We think this is a pretty good visual representation of where we're going with the game and the scope of the game. Trying to get the epicness with the character in at the same time. So thank you all for watching and this is Matt Fletcher again. It's Cosmic Force.